Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my Terraria Calamity Mod playthrough. We're going to the Sunken Sea today, that's the plan. We're going to go kill a giant crab while we look for a lab that's somewhere down there and we'll collect a bunch of resources and whatever else we can grab while we're down there. And that's the primary plan today. The plan tomorrow, or rather on Wednesday, will be starting to build actual homes for the NPCs. Um, which will include one major home here, which is where I, my base of operation is going to be. But we're also going to need to build um, a home over here for the Dryad uh, and the Witch Doctor. We need to have some kind of hut on the beach for the fishermen. And we're going to need to prep a home underground. I don't know where, probably somewhere around here. Um, for the Goblin and the... Uh, engineer when we get them because the goblin needs to be as happy as we can make him and the engineer is just going to have to deal with the fact that she's living underground but still gets to be next to the NPC she loves because we need the goblin to give us the cheapest prices um, but yeah the only other thing is we got an additional achievement um, while I was out um, basically just collecting wood in preparation for needing to build. Um, we got the achievement for killing Dr. Bones spawned on the surface. So let me just put this hat away. Uh, I already have the workbench and the piggy bank. We already have all the gear we need. I don't think I need to take anything with me. I think I will take one thing. Let's just take an additional Iron Skin Potion and Regeneration Potion. Just in case. I don't know how much this crab is going to hurt. Anyway. I'll see you once we get there. We have more or less arrived. Uh, where do we want to break in from? Let's um, break in from here. And how much crab did we pick up along the way down? Uh, our inventory is almost full of random shit already. So, in theory, a lot of the stuff down here is going to be entirely ambivalent towards us. Clam has indeed spawned. Where is it? Over to our left somewhere. Navy stone, I think that's just a basic kind of rock. But we do actually need it for some things, so we're going to need to make, uh, get some navy stone. Prism shards. Just a special kind of sand. I'm under the impression there is a kind of ore that we can collect down here. Assuming this will be the ore, actually. I'm not going to be able to put many torches down here. Prison. Here we go, this is what we need. Oh, there was water in here. Oh, interesting. These torches do work underwater.
bow do we have on us? Okay, we still have that one. I was doing some testing with the um, bow we got from the Desert Scourge. Um, I crafted myself a um, training dummy just so that I could get an idea as to how much damage um, it actually did. And it turns out it does deal a reasonable amount of damage. It's not a massive amount. I think it did actually equate to slightly more than this one would do. Um... Oh, well, we found the, um, the lab. The lab's down there. Ah, here's our giant. I'm guessing it's going to start making a fuss the second we attack it. Oh, it teleports. the world filled with ruin, even the Tyrant Empire. Well, thanks for your service, but I'm afraid we're out of home now. Um, quite solitary. There are rooms of ores that lay latent when you defeat certain bosses. Uh, you will undo ancient magic. Oh! So are you kind of... This might be um, the guide for um, this particular mod. Because that was one issue we had, the base guide. Um, wasn't actually given us information we needed. What do you sell? You sell a really good bow. Coral cannon. Oh, this stuff is objectively better. Um, average speed, slow speed. It depends whether or not that passes through targets. Sand clam. Can latch onto enemies and deal damage over time. Stealth strikes throw five clams at once, causing increased damage over time. Throws up to two, returning sand dollars. Oh, bollocks, we've missed the remote, mer uh, remote merchant. Travelling merchant. Snail speed, so that fire's really slow. Converts wooden arrows into heavy piercing seashells. Summons a hermit crab to fight for you. Pink pearl, white pearl, black pearl, giant pearl. You have a light all around you. Enemies within this area slow down. Does not work while bosses are alive. Provides a small amount of light in the abyss. Does this go to the light slots? It doesn't. Damn. I'm 
generating um, enough light already on my own. So we killed the giant clam. I assume that counted. No? Oh wait, the giant clam is not strictly speaking a um, enemy enemy. It comes after the desert scourge, but it's not counted as a boss. We didn't get it um, this drop, which is weird. Unless there's a whole bunch of stuff up there we haven't picked up yet. Definitely has more items for us to collect. We'll kill some more. Oh, we didn't. It's up there. We just haven't picked it, haven't picked it up yet. Uh, we can place things underwater, so let's just quickly clear the space. You do count as an NPC now, then. Permanently unlocked NPC. Okay, good. Um, we should probably build him a house down here. I imagine he's going to be happiest down here. I'd have to have a look on the um, wiki. I can't imagine he's allowed to live in... Um, up here. So maybe we will do that while we're around. Okay, so the game will give us more of those. Can we do anything with these pearls? What are they used for? Greater luck potions. Ah, yes, that item. We do want that. Standard luck potion. It's not equipment. Okay, let's throw some stuff away. Uh, let's sell those since we have an NPC that we can actually sell them to. Sitting right nearby. Uh, let's keep the Navy Stone out for a minute because we might use that to make his home. I need a sawmill, wouldn't I? I need a sawmill if I actually want to make furniture with this stuff. Oh, right, or one of these. Which we don't have the materials for, but I can always teleport back and quickly craft them. Platinum? No, it's not. But it's, here's a big chunk of ore. Let's just get rid of it. there's a shelf down here somewhere. No. no. There's our giant clam. I mean, we had a perfectly good way of killing him up here. I wonder if I can just... one of our things to attack him. Here he comes.
things it summoned was doing way more damage to me. Veil line under here. Okay, um, we got a plushy, but no other drops at all. That is odd. For something that has so many drops. To not get any of them seems weird. Okay, let's find our way into um this place first. There's a door over here. Which we are going to have to dig our way through to anyway, one way or the other. Down here seems to have a lot of defense. Oh, there's a chest up there. Too valuable though. Uh, okay, let's dig our way down. Okay, what are we looking at? A couple of guns down there. anything in here. There's a security chest. Actually no, that's a recharger, that's a chest. Quite as well to plan. Um, let's go over to our high defense build. And then that. Let's follow the defensive of these. Use those now. Okay, one more time, I'm dead. Uh, 
let's actually just get our pickaxe out. Save us from accidentally um, using the wrong tool. the charging station. Let's throw everything else in here. Oh yeah, we're going to sell those. Uh, are there any more other turrets? Not that I can see immediately. Lot. Collect everything from here. Ah, we didn't need it all. We already had that. I'll worry about the specifics of all of that in a bit. Charging station, what we got in here? More generalized loot. Yeah. Well, I figured it was. doing something with this stuff tomorrow. So not tomorrow again. Next episode. Okay, let's put these back down. Where did we get the extra one from? Oh, we've accidentally mined it up from up here. We have done the things we came here to do, but get much from the um, clam, which is annoying. Given how much stuff that thing has. Okay. Uh, I'm going to head back to base, drop all of this stuff off, uh, and then we'll craft ourselves a... Uh, um, uh, one of those shelves that we can build down here. If we can find the materials for it. Oh, 
Let's put this away in here with these. Quick snack everything else. Some more power cell factories down. Oh, you can come over here. I can't imagine you're happy over here though. How do you feel about living up here? You are satisfied, are you? I'm sure you'd much prefer to live in the water. We will actually just search and check that. Um, what does he count as? King of the Sea. So, one second, that's going to have muted and paused the game. I come over to a new tab, Calamity, Wiki, and go to there. King of the Sea. Maybe it's Seeking. Actually, go MP NPCs. Easiest way. Seeking. Click. Seeking likes the ocean and pirates. Hates the angular. Angular. That's a problem. Because the pirate and the angler like each other. So I may have to have them in the same area, just at a distance. They like being at the ocean. Fair enough. Well, they're here for now. We'll make them a home in the ocean later. Shut down again. Okay. Um, did we not already have a yellow one? The yellow one goes towards one in the sky, which we already have. So that doesn't help. It's Put this over here. Keep those two just in case we need help finding them at some point. Um, ah! Well, that's a problem. Uh, we may have um, left something very important down there. Uh, we may have left the piggy bank and the. Um, Watch me thinky down there. Uh, what do we need? We need five shards, five prison shards, and then three of those. Okay. Those are in boss drops. Probably already have the five of these, so let's take these with us. Let's put the glass in here. Well, we just established we actually don't need to make a house down there, so it doesn't matter. But we do need to go collect our stuff. We shouldn't have left that down there. That was my bad. Okay. I will go collect the stuff and we will be right back. I may kill another crab while I'm down there. If we do, we will see that on camera, but I'll be right back. One sec. Okay, we've made our way back down and collected up a piggy bank. Let's just quickly stack some random stuff in here. And while I'm remembering and we have the table next to us, I wanted to quickly make a few more basic arrows. Um, I went ahead and bought a few things. Um, I bought the two summon items from um, the NPC, um, hoping that they will do a bit more damage to the crab. Um, this actually is a sentry, so it's our first sentry upgrade. Uh, we also bought this. I'm hoping that the piercing in it um, will be useful. But... See if we can find it again. How much damage did this actually do? Twenty five melee damage. And what's this big area here? I would like to poke my head into. nature of this arrow just means that it's going through multiple things. Converts wooden arms into heavy piercing seashells. And they really don't go very far. Okay. 
Oh, you've spawned straight in the middle. You can work with that. Let's just clear the area out. Summon that there. And you've targeted that, teleport you into there. this is slightly more effective. I don't know if it's the bleed or the summons or what, but yeah, that's way more effective. We still didn't get any weapon drops from the damn thing. Let's have another look at this. Ah, I don't think we're going to. The colour on these indicates that these are hard mode drops. This thing's going to get a um, damage boost and we're going to see it again in hard mode and that's where all of this comes from. And yeah, I, this, this item here is also a hard mode drop because I know that for the items that it gives are listed as being in hard mode. Okay, so we don't need to kill it any more times. We have everything we're going to be able to get from it. So continuing on would not serve us any benefit. Um, let's just make sure that we have sufficient enough um, I don't think we have them on us. Sufficient enough C prisms to be able to um, craft some of this stuff. Again, that's hard mode. We get ourselves a decent fishing rod. Well held. Uh, yep. We're going to need it for this stuff. Which I think is all the tier one stuff for this. Um, which we'll probably get to tomorrow. Uh, let me sort by rarity. Potion, this is also craftable at this point. Okay, we probably have enough, but we're standing right on top of another um, bunch of it, so we may as well quickly get this mined. And um, so I will quickly do that. And then maybe we'll craft some of this stuff. We'll see. Cancel your attack target. There we go. Probably shouldn't have done that just in case they go after the giant crab, which is just sitting down, down there. Having that thing spawn in here is going to be a problem. We'll have to teleport away if it does. I don't think I can get rid of that thing. That thing spawned by um, our accessory. a good place to fight giant crabs so I would like to fill this hole back in. I don't mind to just hop around see if we can't see any chests or anything. in here worth collecting so take us off into the lava area 
which is fine. We need golden chests from in that area at some point. Unless we want to craft all the stuff that is in those golden chests, which is an option in this pack. Or in this mod. See any chests up there or along there. If there are chests down here, I don't know what they look like. But I'm assuming they're going to be some kind of boxy shape. Not seeing anything over there. And the entire lower section is cut off. Under here, that is a gem tree. More lava direct bleepers. I wonder if we found a chest in any of these. Doesn't look like it. No easy chest to grab. Doesn't look like chests spawn down here. Fair enough. That's enough exploring. Let's drop everything off. These summons seem to be perfectly reasonable. Attack speed actually might make it better than the diamond staff, except I don't think this is going to pierce. Just put it in storage for now. Giant pearl. Well, that's going to be the second copy of this we have. Um, Enemies when they want to slow down, does not work on bosses when they're alive, provides a small amount of light in the abyss. Yeah, it's not really helpful. Uh, these are potion ingredients. I'm in with those. That one can be sold. That can go in there. Where are you? You're over here. Sell that copy. Start pulling stuff out of here. She goes in here. This goes in with the keys over here. These go in here. That goes in here. Sell that. Okay, that goes in there, that one goes over there, as you know that one goes there, that one goes over there, that goes there. Okay, can we click from in here? No. Oh, 
hub of diversity, uh, ocean life, and all that remains of Lamar's that is underscorched. Once its rural outskirts is now the final fragment of a once powerful kingdom. This is hard to read, just the way it's all messed up. It is fortunate that the witch only focuses on attacking uh, the city's proper and spares some amount of the sea um, from the... That's bridging over monitors. I think that's an N, I N inundations. Uh, I have long heard, heard, yearned um, to research these waters in great depth, uh, yet was never able to, uh, able due to the ongoing conflict. Although many species went extinct uh, in the devastation, many still thrive down here and it is all uh, down here in its depths. It is in this lab that I am finally uh, that I may finally study the aquatic life properly uh, and learn of their nature. Although the marine life in these caves do have eyes, uh, some of their eyes are weak and progress and progress few colours, process few colours. Uh, they are all made to see. All they are made to see is light of the sea prism uh, that surrounds them with many creatures relying on them to guide their way through the submerged caverns. Their tough, gnarled heights possess crystals growing that, or crystal growths that I have originally assumed um, were the prisms set in on their backs. However, dissecting results reveal that they, uh, they indeed possess these crystals internally and the growths are a result of the internal sea prisms bursting out from their hides. The growth of these crystals reaches such an extent that some creatures are more geology than biology in certain areas. Of the specimens here, the abnormally large clam captured my attention, uh, or my most, uh, yeah, captured my interest most, Many times larger than the average person, their weight uh, is so great that they lack the ability to move by the same method as their smaller counterparts. Instead, they rely on teleportation to transport their hook in heavy armoured bodies. Um, they seem to have once possessed further magical powers, according to scouts, however... Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. That heavily implies... They're going to start shooting magic at us once hard mode comes in. However, as they were only seen from afar, uh, their reports could have easily been mistaken. Um, mistaken. Alternatively, alternatively uh, their so or the source of their power simply could have faded after the Lamar's downfall. It is unwise to entirely discount the latter possibility. So it's just law on the areas is what this is. High above even the sky islands, um, upheaved long ago in a fascinating geological phenomenon. Although unlike the islands, their air uh, unlike the islands, their airborne nature appears to have formed more naturally. I, um, I speculate that they formed long ago when the world was in its infancy. Um, judging by the soil samples I have taken while testing these atmosphere atmospheres. Uh, atmosphere planet growth planet growth uh, perhaps these planetoid planetoids have I'm not sure something as many all oh, right perhaps uh, protect these planetoids there's quotation marks there that's the problem uh, as many refer to them as uh, formed by a meteor strikes uh, tossing matter high into the atmosphere this would simultaneously explain many geological oddities I have found uh, on the world's surface. Travel between the worlds is fascinating, or is a fascination of mine. Uh, the planets uh, within reasonable distance 
um, to this provide no use to me in terms of materials or study, opposed to those or study opportunities that could provide. Uh, and so I wish to go further beyond uh, this mere cluster of planets to someday. Um, it will likely take me many more decades to uh, decades of technological progress. However, as travel between worlds takes years, uh, even at the maximum speed physically ma or physical matter can congruently go, perhaps I will find a way to shatter these limits once these worlds hold my interest no longer. A quest from Yahan, Yavin, Yam, Yamrin uh, has been delivered. Uh, an inquiry to create a suit of armor uh, for the serpent? Maybe. Uh, the serpent that has joined his forces recently. The devourer of gods, as the serpent call here, yeah, serpent. Uh, calls himself um, has a bothersome yet fascinating it's a bothersome yet fascinating being and so I have taken the opportunity so that I may learn more of his home dimension using materials from uh, his place of origin I have forged an armour of immense size and durability yet extreme flexibility it is certain is this basically how is it the Eater of Worlds? Destroyer of Worlds? Ah, I forget the distinction between the two of them. <laughs> they have very similar names. I think it might just be called the Destroyer. Um, one of the most unique materials I have worked with uh, and advanced my knowledge greatly, though I have learned more than I expected to about the Cosmic Beast um, from this. Perhaps more than he wishes me to. Uh, and we'll leave the next one or the other one we've got until we have the intermediate ones. Okay, so we do now have access to this schematic. Which will allow us to start crafting all of that, but I'm not going to do that now because we'll use that um, as an opportunity once we can actually, or once we have our base built, because we're going to need to build the decryption computers to then decrypt the next one. So that can wait. Um, let me swap these back out. Actually, the range of this, I'm not entirely sure I want to keep it. How's this war or this weapon outside? Yeah, that fire's too slow. I think... Let's put this in storage an interesting weapon but I think we'll stick with this one because this one actually fires pretty quick and when combined with the electric effect of its arrow that it creates and the also electric bolt that we get from Lux's gift it appears to do a fair bit more damage than the others so we'll keep that bow on us for now um, have we finished emptying this out we have Quickly deposit that. Uh, how many of these did we have? Oh, we brought 400 with us. I think we probably have enough. Um, what of these do we want to make? We're doing the fishing rod, but that can wait. It's a special kind of sword. Do I want a melee weapon? Shoots two bolts. Eight average damage. No damage type, just eight average damage. Hmm. This is basically going to be the last opportunity we have to um, craft an upgrade. Because at the start of next episode, we are popping the... Um, life crystals we need to max our health which means we're gonna to have to start dealing with all the stuff that comes with that um so yeah this armor doesn't have or rather there's no armor attached to the stuff that we've collected which means if we're going to take on the next 
the um, Eye of Cthulhu, we have to do it with what is available to us. Which may behoove us to actually learn those recipes and craft these now. We have a little bit of time left in this episode. That's a shotgun, wasn't it? Uh, it's a gun. We would need to buy ammunition for it. First things first, let's make that. Because that we're definitely going to need. We're not going to need it till Friday, but we're going to need it. Um, let's grab that. We open that. I think I'm probably still in range. Where are you? Three of these. Take that and that out. Tinker's workbench. No, we can craft it an anvil, so it's either we're missing an item, there it is, or we're just not seeing it. Okay. Um, we may as well craft the fishing rod as well, which we should just be able to flat out craft. It needs something specific. No, anvil. Oh, wait, we need the navy stone. This one's the navy stone. There's our fishing rod. So we are now ready to start going fishing eventually. Okay. I wish I could go back easily. Um, what else? So we need antlion thingy. So if we open up that one there, we should just be able to flat out craft that. Where is it? Can I open the wrong chest? Or am I blind? Let's make this all... Oh no, I'm blind. Uh, the item we're looking for is here. Anything else? Eh, we could get the yo-yo. Um, can you move please? Thank you. We need the amethyst one. There it is. That will let us craft this. Aquashard shotgun converts musket balls into aqua shards that split upon hitting an enemy deals extra damage to enemies at point blank range. I should hope so. It's a shotgun. Fires crystals that explode and slow down enemies. This weapon scales with your damage stats at once. This weapon scales with all your damage stats at once. Okay. So it's an average between all of our damage stats. Interesting. Ah, we can't make that. That needs aerolite bars. Which means we need to kill um, the Brain of Cthulhu for those. Do these need aerolite bars as well? Okay, yeah, okay. We can't even craft any of these. These bars require us to do the thing that um, 
our fisherman is telling us we need to do. So not our fisherman, our fishman. Have you heard of a city of brimstone crags? It lies in the underworld. It was constructed beneath the abyss. So the abyss is just the massive blank area, the underground. It was once the oldest and largest city in the world. It seems that nothing but danger lies there now. Um, yeah, so one of the things they told us about was that... Um, the ore in the air, which I had already looked up. The ore in the air will convert into mineable ore once we kill a certain boss. So... We got a crap version of this. That's kind of what I expected from it. It's just a um. Interesting. Fires a blue shockwave. Well, if you're worried about missing, then that's a good weapon to have. And that might actually be better than what we have. Although, mana cost reduction. Oh, this is only three mana to shoot. That's firing three projectiles effectively. But this is passing through and hitting multiple times. We don't have the DPS meter yet. It might actually be very, very close as to which one does more damage. Because obviously this isn't passing through, but it's firing faster and it's hitting three times. Um, let's take this off to remove it as a factor. So that's dealing on average 18 per hit and it's hitting twice. Okay, yeah. that is definitely doing more damage. This isn't using ammo at all. It's not firing anything. Fair enough, it doesn't use ammo. It does not consume ammo. It does say as much, fair enough. Um... That versus... This is hitting twice. That's firing almost twice as fast. Hmm, that's a tough call. They both don't um, lose altitude. Um, they're not affected by gravity, so they're both going to be good against Cthulhu. Or the Eye of Cthulhu. This is not going to be useful against the Eye of Cthulhu. They can't fly. They just sit on the ground. Um, I need something that's... Can I forcibly tell them to... Yeah, they can't attack a um, airborne point. So against Cthulhu, which again is the thing that we need to be preparing for, they're not going to do me any, any good at all. In which case I am better off, even though their damage is lower, using that for the eye. Did I actually put it away or did I just accidentally throw it? Where'd it go?
Okay, good. That one went in there. Uh, it was coming over here because we wanted to drop that off. Uh, that's no good. I mean, this thing... Yes, I get it. You're really good. Uh, I should I should actually keep um, that staff on me, because if we get a blood moon, they're going to be real, real effective. Just like that is going to be really kind of effective. I think. I'm going to keep this because it doesn't use ammo um, and because, again, just thinking about it, it's not just the eye we need to be we're going to need to be worried about. We're going to need to be worried about um, invasions and a blood moon. And I get the distinct feeling that's just going to pass through everything. So anything that pierces is going to be really effective. Um... I'm going to put that away for now. We want to keep that out. Uh, for what we're going to be doing, we don't need this. So let's do it that way. Uh, yeah, let's just permanently put that away. If we get an eye summon, then getting the bloody butcher might be a good idea, but I think we'll go with that for a weapon loadout for now. Got some decent upgrades today. I think we are ready. We are ready to start taking on the actual bosses. That goes in there. These go in here. That goes in there. Everything else goes away, and we call it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Wednesday. We will start making some homes, but before that, we will crack open all of the remaining life uh, or um, life crystals so that we will start getting spawns of Cthulhu, or the Eye of Cthulhu, Blood Moon, and one of else. Um, I will need to think about whether or not I want to keep the armor that I'm using, which has much lower defense probably just swap over these because we only need these while we're um, underwater that one's melee isn't it speed uh, we already have a claw that's defense increases movement speed jump speed not gonna need that Healing aura, melee speed. I think balloon. Just for the extra jump height. Only gives us 18 defense, but then hopefully we'll be able to get some defense from elsewhere. And if things really get bad, we can always just hop over to one of these. Although, if I swap that over to there, how much more defense do we get? That is the melee one. So that gets us 21 defense. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.